I just thought it was just a, a bruise that I'd picked up somewhere along the line, but um, until it started to uh, really have significant changes and uh, it didn't look nice, it was time to go and get it checked out. I felt really devastated. I just didn't really know what to do or where to go. Yeah, it was a pretty horrible day actually. I tried to talk to the wife about it and um, you know people react differently when they get breast cancer and um, people who haven't got it who are very close to you, you know your immediate family, um, I found it very very hard you know I, I have a daughter that's a paramedic and a firefighter in Wellington and um, she just doesn't talk to me about it because I don't think she knows how to approach it. And um, I just gave up and I went over to the mountain, sat in one of the public benches over there and bawled my eyes out and a lady who came up and asked me what, what was wrong. I don't know who she was, but I remember that like it happened yesterday. She actually Googled support services and the breast cancer support people come up and I decided to call in on the way home. I got here, I just, I come upstairs and I seen Helen and I just stood at the door and I was just dumbfounded, I didn't know what to do. And it was, thanks to Helen, she just said, you know, you, I think you've received some pretty bad news, haven't you? And I said, yeah, I have. And it's just gone from there, you know. The, the support from breast cancer has just been just, wow, it's been really amazing. I was a bit apprehensive to come along to the first group meeting because I knew it'd be predominantly um, females, which it is. I did feel a little bit uncomfortable, but um, yeah, we had a great night. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, I did find it hard because I, I don't mix really well and um, that's been sort of the way I am most of my life, but um, I, had to do, I had to do something. I made myself come along to it um, because nobody else understood me and, and what was going on and uh, I, was, I was desperate for help. I was really desperate. I believe in New Zealand there's only about 23 men a year um, end up with breast cancer. Speaking with people that have got um, got the same sort of problem, um, doesn't really matter whether it's female or male, um, the treatment's the same. But I think um, one thing in all fairness, you know, it's, it's a big thing. Um, I've told male friends and um, they just don't believe that guys get breast cancer, but um, unfortunately they do. It's changed part of my life. Um, I've noticed it more so with friends. They're being a bit funny or they don't know how to handle it. Um, but, you know, that will probably come right in time. My twin sister, she died about 10 years ago with breast cancer. She fought it for five years. I didn't really know what she went through because she was living in Christchurch at that stage. I didn't really know much about it. Margaret never really talked too much about it. For me, the breast cancer support people have been really my number one family um, since that day, and still is. I'm not even sure the, the type of cancer that I had. All I know it was breast cancer, and I'm really glad it's gone. I'm really glad. Yeah.